I really should have done this earlier because some of these peaches are already too large. But I ordered bags that were three by four and they were way too tiny. So then I ordered some more and I didn't realize, see this is the ones I ordered to begin with. And that will work for the peach for now, but it would not have worked for the peach when it's ripe. I'm gonna use those on my strawberries. Last year I lost so many peaches to that plum curculio weevil that this year I decided to bag them. And I should have done it a couple of weeks ago. Because they're most susceptible to that weevil when they're really young. And then again right before, a couple of weeks before harvest time. But this will at least get me some kind of protection against them and I will also do my plum tree. It's a pain in the butt. I've already done 150 and there are so many unprotected but <laughs> and then last year I did the stupidest thing possible. I threw the peaches on the ground and just left them there to rot and the squirrels to eat or whatever. Um, but that was stupid, and I knew it was stupid, I just did it, because that just allows the bug to mature and <laughs> continue the life cycle. But here's one that you can already see the damage from. That is a sappy, gummy liquid coming out of where it bore the hole into. And that was probably done when it was a little smaller. But this should have been put in the fire instead of throwing it on the ground like I did last year. So don't do that. Bad idea. I've had this tree for probably 12, 14 years. And for the most part, the damage has only been, um, you know, 10 or 20 out of the few hundred peaches that was on it. Um, so that to me wasn't a big deal. But then the last year and the year before, it's just been getting progressively worse. So this year, we're going to do something about it. This is the damage that that plum curculio will do. When you start seeing this, you know you've got a plum curculio problem and you need to prevent that or spray to treat um, the adults that are laying those eggs. So the adult lays its egg on this and then it hatches and tunnels into the pit um, where then it feeds and then emerges, I think, in May or June or something like that. Um, there are some organic sprays, I think, that you can use, um, but I've so far not had to use any sprays on my peaches and plums, so I want to keep it that way, and I want to see if I can put this in check in a natural way. I don't know, maybe it'll work, maybe it won't. I'm getting kind of lazy, and I'm just bagging limbs or branches and not even thinning the fruit. Um, and that's how you know it's time to quit. It's time to quit. You just, what you doing? You just being lazy. Yeah, it's time to quit. But the sun's finally went down, so it's not hot. <laughs> Maybe I should just stop being lazy. I guess it's malformed. I don't know if you can see that with the sun behind it. Pretty cool. I don't know if that's a two-spotted lady beetle or one of those Japanese beetles. I don't know. 